She'll set the field on fire just cutting across the pasture. She'll have you falling for it all and then leave right after. And she got a cold heart, but she got a warm smile, cut from the same cloth. She kind of buck wild, a little bit angel, whole lot of outlaw. She's trouble, but I tell you right now, y'all, long live cowgirls. Never gonna settle on down, girls. Leave you in a lonely ghost town, world where the sun don't rise. Rodeo 419, love you like a Mustang. Pouring in on them giddy up pranks. Pour in your heart with some good aim on a goodbye ride. But it's fine, cause it's kinda my thing. Long live cowgirls. Yeah, long live cowgirls. Tastes like whiskey. And how they wake up, take on off, and not even miss me. Leave this heart broken, holding that smoking gun. I guess that's just the way them wild horses run. Let them run. Long live cat. Yo, 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 everyone, and welcome to another stream with me, Aval25. Now, I'm not feeling so good, chat, but, you know, um, not feeling good today. My stomach is killing me, but uh, I just finished wrapping um, all me and my wife's fishing rod. We're going fishing this Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. But uh, welcome down, guys. Chill out. Enjoy. Relax. And uh, there's a thunderstorm outside, so I can't promise you if uh, if it's going to like literally. Um, I can't promise you guys if it's going to cut out at any point in time. Um, but let's go, chat. Myself. What the hell? Cause I can save myself. Whoa. Can't drop a pill and tell me where heaven is, but they can't tell me where to get sent it is. And turn a mind alive. Yeah, so how's everyone's day going, chat? For some reason my Twitter's not working either, so it's just I just wanna enjoy myself, chat, and just play and have fun. I could I could sleep right now, literally, how tired I am. Um, now, this is acting dumb again. I think it's in bond to hell. And I can't find myself. I need somebody in help. And I'm lonely and so I know. Whoa. I need someone to help. Help. Yeah. This should be closer to me just by a little bit, chat. There you go. My sip. Bust. I need some some help. No 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 
Oh. Okay, so where did I... Okay, so plus destination. Who the hell is that guy? Oh yeah, that that's the other guy that was weird that kept following us too. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Oh yeah, that's that's his protector. Makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. Break, man, puppy. I but did my duty. Come now. You're an ass. Tell us what you've I'm gonna make that like a million channel points, so it's never Your used. Grace. That's what I think. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. No. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Ah. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king he has come to save us from the Akashic.
Here's a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong. But I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ah, so you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> still here, somewhere in the city, her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years. Oh yeah. my god. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. <laughs> Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is... Yeah, yours, my ass is so... But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word.
Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. <clears throat> I wonder how long this game is. I have no idea. There you go. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make... Figuratively, I hope. Well, a passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade. That an Eldred Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of... Oh, do you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be cro Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide, bring me that beast's skin and I will sh All right. Of course you will. When one leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe Now that's also another thing that I have to do. Um This is Tabor, right? South of Tabor. So How are those new boots treating you? You finally is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my ever- The university? A specialist in ancient cultures. The most- In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me. The answers I seek lying. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stair? Climb the stair. And? Memorize a few in uh, some courteous soul is rumored to the three of them, to be precise, one each to the north. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a namely the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, I can't promise I'll remember it. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the. To help this old man. <sighs> to help this old man be a good citizen, I guess. That Cyril fellow's an odd fish, don't you think? No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. Oh, there's more than one, that's why, okay. I get it. new boots treating you farm 
farmers must have settled here in Tabor. These inquiries been hard to find since the sky's turned. Fifteen pinches of magic. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Have you noticed the elf? Hmm. Not a scratch on them. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes. That Cyril fellows are not fish, do you think? I only get a thousand <clears throat> thousand dollars or something like that. The oh, what did I look up? Don't tease me now. Uh, let's start with Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sick, I'm pretty sure. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this, uh, but uh, whatever could have driven the Guardians, uh, the engraving. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. The pride recall thy noble or No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor. This is proving. Children of the Hunters. Now Tiller, that's all three. And so we add primitive farmers to Tabor's three engravings. One for each of the three people, guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plain. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Though, nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars. Too many stairs, Bat. Ah! I want to go down here because it was apparently remember south yes, of Tabor, which is B. This is north. This is south. So south of Tabor is here. Take another one of those freaking people. Come again. Let's just let's see if I can. Hmm. Cyril, how far is the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and Bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosario. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? 
The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will re If there is nothing for- No. Your Grace. The canva, then. We'll talk about this. Cyril seemed very... Uh... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Sure, this is the right way, bro. The park. Arr. Fun. To be honest, I s don't even think that that was... Let's see here.
Let's go through the fields of Korva. Poppy, did you touch the HDR part of PS5? I'm gonna try to do max flare. Dead. He's, he should be dead. Maybe I'll get an upgrade. Here's your hide. I worried you might never re Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek. Yet as adamant as her virtue, clearly my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a join me as my honored partner. With my means and your money. I don't plan on making a habit of this. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meat, do not allow me to keep you from being about.
Ooh, level 39. That's it. Freaking junk. Uh, but mm, something's not right. Work, man.
three men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. No, oh, there's definitely trouble. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. 
You too. <clears throat> All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. I don't like this. I don't like this one. I don't know. They freaking literally took over everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
You did. Isn't it? Oh man, this is not good. He's done. This is the Agora, where the city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors inside. No, it's not because that guy sliced our heads.
They're done. You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am sitting near of House Harbor. And you will yield! No, I won't. Or not. Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Ungnir. Watch closely, dear.
seldom enough. But you're not agreed. Actually, I wouldn't. He's done. He should be done. What's up, bro? There's that. Tá bom. Oh, move. Oh. How are you, brother? Oh. Should be done after this. That's good, bro. It's good, brother. Yeah, my stomach is killing me, man. Vessel is strong. My leash. Clive. You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walu. 
get back. the boy who bested my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential <laughs> Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. She's dead. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And? How is he? 
Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You look mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Heia wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others stretched you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But you have an idea. <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Mm hmm. Gav said that Otto might know something. Cole said it was an army. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a cash and the valleys are full of Let's go chase that thing. Yo, 
That guy that I we just face, that guy is way too strong. Not there. The freak. here.
I swear I thought this was gonna be right, but... But frick, I said the sickle, and this is the sickle. Enough of you are there. Okay, where the frick is this thing? For right here. Hey.
Shit. Oh, well, I know where that guy is. So I need to buy... I need to buy some stuff. I need to go down here. Mummy. The gentleman of the town guards. Are you looking for something in particular? My thanks. An excellent choice. Fare you well. Uh, let's see here. Um, mm -hmm. let me see if I can and now I know where this is right there so let's go there
shit, man. He's done, man. Get out of here. No problem. Beast is dead. It's a dangerous world out there. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Is that all? So, will it be? It'll last you a good while. You can thank me later. Do my best work, but it'll do. No scratches, all right? Thank me later. Beautiful now. What do they want me to do now? Jesus. All the time they want me to do something. All the time. Some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akash. Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems they're barracks. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay, but we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor bugger. I'd build him a new barracks here if I could. Where would I put them? They're just... Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. But... I see. And it ain't just that lot. There's been more and more of them turning up lately. Come, but there's only so many we can shelter with. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. It's no... Thank you. So, where were you... Well, I reckon we could do a lot... Eastpool, it's been a long time since I thought... It was a tragedy, and if any of us could have done anything... But what's done is done. And those who live... I suppose you... The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon there's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their den. Nasty bastards they are. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner. 
if my boys didn't know. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. And I know the men. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to... And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own, too. Of course. Okay. All right, Sir Wade. Let's hear your plan. So wait. And you, Lord Rosfield. I spoke with my... She tells me you have plans to free... E That's right. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us. And then there are the bearers. Men and women who found that we need somewhere to settle them. As can I. Which is why I agree. That's very kind of you. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of... Ro so? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there, a small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that for I'll head into East Poland. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off and make sure I'm not taken. I can't ask you to bear all that risk. The Akashic are the bigger risk. Well, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You... All right. We shall see you there. All right, so I'll go on at East Pool, I guess. Is that? Done, 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 done. Any more surprises? <sighs> Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for a... We were. Put down more than a few on the road. Then arrived just let's hope it was the last of its kind though i expect you i would hope so your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here i assume it might be best to send word for them to come right away of course leave it with me done i should probably go level 40 now Oh. 
That's all of them. And not a single Akasha. Now to begin the important work, it won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having them. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the... F It'll take a bit of elbow grease. So wait. Let if you don't mind. I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part. Of course. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived. If you need anything more... And we will, my lord. He's pulled us in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. you are. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye. What's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't it'll only give me nightmares of me own. What? I suppose it will be. What else? Sir Wade, there's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but there's the way I see it. Neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. I wanted to. Woohoo! you after there you go much obliged thanks very much Book lad. If we're going to do this, Clive, your timing is impe- It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're- And what talents would the- Why your fearlessness? I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers, none remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves un- But the army, too, is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure the- Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free- So where does my skill with a blade come- Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, so we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved. And we believe we have found one. The place was abandoned a long time ago. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman. How could I re Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transport- Of course. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out. I will. We have an entire village to- st Even if I begin right now, I'll be- So I'd better- Try to clear the place up. I'll do my best. Oops, now we're gonna find a village in Cherdra's Thread, past Leighton's Cleft. My man. All right. I'm sure you were. Now we're gonna do this and give those people houses. So far, I did two missions that have. That gave people houses.
must have been a nice place once. And it will be again. Done. That's all of them. Come on, Toggle. Let's head back to Boklad. Head back to Boklad. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Oh, yeah. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. But enough about him. It's done. You made quick work. I should go and let her away. Don't let me. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was chilling to get up. I'll explain everything once. All right. What do I get for that? Huh? Eloise. What do I get? Let's go back from cash lock. You've been Thank you, Clive. Here. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with, but we shall emerge victorious. Well, if you I'm not sure I do. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They op- And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get- And 
judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say... And you'd rather she did? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an... Eloise saved me from slavery. But this was not the life my sister wanted. I won't let her give up on her dream. She freed me from my... And she must be free. You're a good man, Thea. I have always been grateful for what... And I want to repay the favor. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises... She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. Always. Thank you, Clyde. Well then, I... These bearers aren't going to move. That's a job for the Crimson... All right, and now go this one. This is one of the last places that we have to deal with. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't. Need. You know what you have to do, Clive. I fear, as you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circle. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most... Thank you. I appreciate that his revenge. It is the one I... And it is all that I have lived for. But what of Lostwing? I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. One, my comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall... But there are those among us who cannot... I would place Lostwing in their hands. But a village, home only to the frail and the infirm. And so, Clive, I find my... Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live, even... I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who... The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's bales. Away... Understood. Then the last of my preparations are... And may Grieger guide us. It was a lot of shenanigans, man. To go Tan's bales then, and quickly, before anyone else finds them. There's a lot of problems here.
Bye, chat.